Tash, thanks so much for joining us. Whereabouts are you now? Mate, I am in the MPC or the Media Press Centre. It's like four storeys tall. It's a pretty big building. There's journalists from more than 200 countries here. So I'm feeling very safe right now. <laughs> I, was, I was going to say, Tash, um, this is Channel 10. You look like you're at Westfield Parramatta. <laughs> Are you actually over there? <laughs> no, mate, this is just a green screen behind me. I'm <laughs> actually in the Bahamas. <laughs> You got me thinking though, Tash, what are the testing requirements for the media and what happens if you test positive? Well, it is pretty intense, Mel. For the first three days that you're here, you have to spit in a tube and it has to reach a certain level of the tube. So it actually takes quite a lot of effort to get that much <laughs> saliva to get to the level that you need. So they're all about the make sure you spit and don't swallow over here oh. right now. Oh. And actually, here's a test okay. that I prepared. I mean, I mean there, there's the promo. Um... <laughs> you definitely don't want to swallow. You'll probably get E. coli. Yeah, so point. That is a good point. But apparently that's safer than COVID. I did prepare one of these tubes earlier for you guys. This is the tube with the straw that we've got to spit in. But it doesn't... I, I haven't used it yet. I would never show my bodily fluids on national television. <laughs> <laughs> that will save that for Love Island. Um... <laughs> hey, Tash, do you have any interaction with the athletes? We have been able to do a couple of press conferences. I did one today with a few skateboarders. Holy cow, are those people talented. But, yeah, it's on a very regimented uh, system. We're speaking with the Australian Olympic Committee every second day. They're being really good about doing press conferences with us, keeping us up to date, or at least we hope they're telling us everything. But, no, it's, 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 a, it's an Olympic Games like no other i can't just you know walk on up to ash Barty and ask her how you know her swing is going <laughs> well tash tash up to date on ted news um so you'll be getting info on athens um, <laughs> the modern modern olympiad we're getting details just to hand about okay. about athens and we'll be able to update you on that in about two years <laughs> Now, you're talking about the skateboarding. There's a few new events, of course, like long jump and long COVID. Um, I don't think that's an event. What, what are you most excited for? Gee, that's a tough question. I think, like, to be honest, COVID has just been so awful for everyone around the world. We've all been locked in our houses. It's sucking the life out of us. And I just want something positive to happen in the world right now. So whether that's someone winning a medal, breaking a world record, giving the world something to smile about would be awesome. So I know that there's so much negativity around these games in terms of whether they should happen and go ahead and whether that's foolish or not. But I don't know. I think we need to celebrate something right now. So uh, I also could be doing a live cross with you this time in two weeks and saying that was a ridiculous idea. She's a ridiculous idea. Well, well, I mean, I mean, Tash, you're in Tokyo now. You'll be positive in no time. So <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> hey, hey, Tash, I've got a genuine question for you. Um, you work on Studio 10 as well. Is that right? From time to time, I do, Tim, yes. Is that why you put your hand up for a 20-hour flight to a COVID hotspot? <laughs> Is that why...? Listen, this is your debut show. There's no need to be a prick right now. <laughs>